murmurs are common in children and a large majority of normal children can have a heart murmur. So mm. today, Dr. Nell is here to tell us all about heart murmurs in children. So tell me, what is a heart murmur? Pre-heart murmur is just an extra sound that is heard when a physician examines the heart or the chest with a stethoscope. Many children would have heart murmurs heard at some time during an examination or a visit to a GP. What they really represent is turbulence that is produced or heard when the blood traverses different chambers of the heart or across the heart valves. Wow, so what's the difference between an innocent one? Because I know there's two different types. There's an innocent one and a pathological heart murmur. Yeah, you're right. Uh, look, as I said, they're just sounds. Innocent heart murmurs represents sounds that are produced normally when the uh, blood travels through the heart um, and they do not represent a problem per se and they just represent that sound that is produced when the flow happens. Um, based upon the characters of the sound, uh, the physician might be able to say this is, this is nothing that represents any abnormality. Pathological murmurs, on the other hand, can signify uh, a significant or a problem, problematic congenital heart disease or a structural heart disease or an acquired heart disease. Um, and the difference is really based upon either the examination or some advanced investigations. Because mm, it, it, it could be a bit of a worry, I think, for many parents when there's something with the heart because it's you know, a very, mm. very important organ. So how can it cause problems then in the future? Look. The murmur itself is not a disease, so the murmur itself is just a sign, it's just a sound. Um, innocent murmurs have special characteristics and if the physician uh, is able to identify the particular characteristic, characteristics of that sound, where it is heard on the chest, um, in which particular phase of the cardiac cycle, which, which means how it is related to the two heart sounds, and in the overall context of the condition of the child, uh, the doctor might be able to confidently say this is just a flow murmur, it means nothing and reassurance to the family is all, all that is necessary. Um, pathological murmurs, uh, as I said, represent can represent a significant underlying problem and if the physician is able to um, clearly identify that this is not an innocent murmur or it is not easy to, to differentiate, um, then then it is sometimes it is sometimes uh, possible to identify the particular type of heart disease. Uh, pediatric cardiologists would have um, uh, more expertise in doing that, but in general, uh, an abnormal sound uh, or a pathological heart, heart murmur would have different characteristics, uh, and they can be pointers towards different kind of diseases in children, particularly things like leaky or tight valves, holes or septal defects, or some other complex congenital heart disease. Could be, um, could be picked up by initially hearing a murmur. So what do do doctors do then when they hear a murmur because, yeah. Well, as I said last, a large majority of children would have murmurs and most of the time they are uh, innocent. A child would usually be well and there would be no other problem and they're incidentally picked up. And, um, and the characters of the sound, if they fit in an innocent spectrum, then the physician would basically um, tell the family that this is a sound that I heard and this represents an innocent murmur and reassurance is all that would be needed. In some grey areas uh, or difficult situations or if the sound is clearly abnormal, uh, the physician might elect to recommend an echocardiogram which is uh, an ultrasound of the heart uh, which can clarify whether this is, this is uh, something that, uh, that is a result of a, a structural or a heart problem uh, which can be then managed accordingly as to what it is. Heart murmurs can be a scary thing for a parent. So if your doctor has heard a murmur and is happy with all other things being normal, reassurance mm. is that that may be all that is needed. However, if your GP is concerned that it may warrant further investigations, ask them to refer you to the amazing team at Townsville Pediatrics, as they have an incredible team of specialized pediatricians with a huge range of specialty areas, including screening cardiac echocardiograms. So your child will be in very good hands.